So we're going to be working a word here. <coughs> and you're going to choose a blank document. And this will be your final diagram we do for this year. Because it's your final diagram, you are going to choose your own diagram of your own choice. You may choose to change your layout to be either portrait or landscape. Part of that depends on the diagram you're choosing. Choose one that fits for your diagram. For my example, I'm just going to leave it under portrait. I'm going to go to Smart Art, and you may choose any one of these that makes sense. Let's go through a few of them. Under List, we want to show something that has the information that is gathered after 2 minutes, after 8 minutes, and after 20 minutes on the Tracking Teresa video. So, for example, this one, I could put up in this square two minutes, it lists the information, eight minutes, lists the information, and 20 minutes, it lists the information. If I was to choose this one, just so I know, which way would my paper go? Portrait or landscape? It's going across. It's going across, so I probably want it landscape. Okay. Probably want it landscape. This one, I could do two minutes here, eight minutes, and then 20 minutes at the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. What about this one? Would this one work? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This one? Sure. This one? Absolutely. Let's just use this one as my example for right now. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and mm -hmm. I'm going to drag my box down so that I'm using the entire work surface area. My margins are in the blue. I don't want to go outside my margins. <coughs> so there we go. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to write after two minutes. Notice it gets smaller as I type. After eight minutes, it's going to get smaller as I type. after 20 minutes, okay? Are we making sense so far? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to come up here at the top, click in here, and now I'm going to go through that video and I'm going to figure out what did this guy learn after two minutes. Well, he learned her name, <coughs> right? He also learned that she was a female teen. She, he learned brother's name. And he learned uh, her hobbies. No sentences. You do not need sentences for this project, just phrases. I don't need this text bubble, so I can just click on it. There we go. After eight minutes, did he still know these pieces? Yeah, it's not like he forgot them. So, do these need to be down here? Yeah, they need to be down there. These pieces up here need to also appear in the eight minute box, along with the additional information. <coughs> After 20 minutes, do you need the same information that's in that 8-minute box? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not like he went and forgot it. Or it's not like she just decided, oh, I'm not going to know that anymore. Right? So you need to have it in each one of the boxes. Once you get that done, we need to customize this in at least one way. Okay. So maybe I come in here and let's say I decide to use uh, this one. That would take care of the customization if you want. If you want to do each one separately and create your own colors, that's fine too. I just want to know that you know how to customize it. 
Now, this is just an example. Under process, okay, could you do this one here? Absolutely. What about this one? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Uh, what about uh, this one? Sure, you could do a circle path. That would be just fine. Uh, you want to be a little bit careful with <coughs> making sure that this has text here and not a picture because you're going to need to type after two minutes. You can't just put a picture there. So make sure that you have a text box there. Uh, what about these? Do these any of these look like they would work? No, these don't lend themselves well to that. What about underneath here? Well, there's a few. This one might work. Okay. What about a food web? Is that going to work on this? Not on this one. What about a Venn diagram? Are we comparing and contrasting anything? Nope. So that one's not going to work either. Okay. Uh, <coughs> under picture, will some of these work? Very well could. Absolutely. Uh, you know, some of these might lend themselves really nicely to that. Under other, could you do a pyramid? Yeah. You could. Under two minutes, the smallest section. And do under two minutes, he knows the smallest amount. And then under eight minutes, more. And then after 20 minutes, this person knows a whole bunch. And has a whole base of knowledge. Sure, you could do that. Okay. So you're going to choose a diagram that works well for you. If I were you, I would have the video play and then I would pause it where it gives the two minutes and all the information. And then I would type it up. I'd continue to watch the video. After eight minutes, I'd pause it and I would go ahead and type the information. That's how I would structure that. 